as the Lord reveals the things of his kingdom, he likewise reveals the things of the devil's kingdom, there is a throne on which the devil the old serpent sits, in ancient past he stayed with God in the wisdom of God, he knew God, the knowledge of the Lord has been revealed to him, the Lord had placed upon him all the grandeur of his name, for the Lord had already known what he would do and accomplish, nothing is hidden in the eyes of God. However the old serpent has decided to take the place of the eternal God. He took for himself myriads of the heavenly angels of God, angels of light, spirits of holiness were led to become rebellious to God, by their rebellion their faces have been transformed, today they are called foul spirits, their faces were transformed, the devil himself who previously wore the garment of holiness and the beauty of God. Today his face represents the head of a dead man with skin as thin as a hair, but this angel of death and rebellion takes the form that you yourself give him. When he comes before you, if you are afraid of him he takes the form a dreadful dragon because of your fear, and the dragon feeds on your fear, but if you're not afraid of him he takes the form of an old man who cannot stand on his feet, this is the revelation of God. The Teaching of the Spirit the old serpent takes its power from the ignorance of the people of God. The Lord does not even speak of the people outside because they are the property of the dragon the old snake, but, people of God must see the devil as he is. A weak old man, never say we are too weak to fight because I gave you everything, I will fight again only for the fights that are reserved for me. But as far as the fighting you can lead yourself I will not involve myself. The Lord is tired of the ignorance of his people, the devil is seated on this throne, a black throne set with red diamonds the color of the blood of the prophets and the blood of the anointed ones, on this throne he sits, dressed in a black dress, carrying in his hand the scepter of power over the kingdoms of the world, which was given to him by the kings of the world themselves, under his feet is a river of impurity that is manifested and will manifest itself more and more powerfully in kingdoms and times, like in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah is the very fruit of this river, Satan is a personified defilement, just as the kingdom of God is filled with the smell of delicate fragrances, the kingdom of the devil carries the smell of death, a smell of stain as you have never felt, we are entering the realm of the devil now, several doors are open, the kingdom is composed of several closed rooms, at the door of each of these rooms are princes and authorities of darkness who are armed, around the room is tied a chain that no one could break, these spirits, these authorities are the very angels that have been at the head of rebellion in the kingdom of God, the Lord keeps them imprisoned, no one will untie them, bless God because if they were loosed and if they were spread on this earth then this land would be even darker than it is now, Princes of darkness on the globe and on the surface of this earth receive their directives directly from these chained authorities and powers that are still bound, but they cannot go down to earth they are bound, we enter a door upon which was written fornication and adultery, at the foot on the floor of this room there is a liquid that sticks to the feet, the liquid is the same stain as the devil, all the kingdom of darkness carries on its ground this liquid which holds the feet. In this hall there was a naked demon he was half man and half woman, every man and every woman on the surface of this earth who commit fornication enter this room, this demon was chained on both feet and both hands, the sex of this demon is nauseating and ten times larger than a normal being, because he has placed in this member all his confidence, but the pleasure he took in committing fornication here below become for him slavery for eternity. And this demon is voracious. For the more we give him, the more he asks, the lower half of his body is the body of a woman and the upper half is the body of a beast, this demon has the sex of a man and the sex of a woman, those who commit fornication it is to this demon that you give yourself, and it is with him that you unite, this demon is tired but he is obliged to continue his fornication uniting with men and women on earth that are living in fornication and adultery, we leave this room that did several objects on the wall like whips, tunics, belts, objects of torture, objects or sexuality worthy of Sodom and Gomorrah, this demon is the master of this hall bearing the name fornication, we leave this room and we continue in this corridor, another room opposite is called adultery, an authority still chained to the door of this room, the same viscous liquid at the foot and on the ground, 
On the walls of this room there is a tapestry bearing the termini, this fallen angel was a woman in a transparent dress, a woman dressed in a dress as thin as the air, so much so that one would think that this woman is naked. The color of this woman's skin is green, her hair has the color of gold, her eyes are wearing the name of seduction, her mouth is red and her tongue is called a lie. This woman holds out my arms so that I come to her, she extends my arms so that I approach her, and she spoke words of seduction to me that follow, let her do it for once, your wife will know nothing, you'll only do it once. Everyone has the right to weakness, a moment of pleasure that you have never known, I will let you know the voluptuousness and things you never knew with your own wife. This woman is called adultery. Under her dress her body is bare. She has an organ that bears the very smell of the kingdom of the devil that is nauseating, this woman has a substance of green color on her sex as foul smelling and as sticky as the stain on the ground of the devil's kingdom, whoever fornicate with her will hardly be able to withdraw his member because this liquid is sticky and this liquid holds powerfully, the one who will fall once with her will hardly be able to free himself from adultery, for this female demon is called adultery. We went to another room that is called Lai, a figure who is sitting behind a table wearing a jacket and a suit had two tongue in his mouth, this entity is the prince of Lai, the personification of Lai. He who listens to his words and pays attention to what he says and does not take care to watch he lets himself be carried away by his words of lies, politicians and kings of this earth got corrupted with this prince. The prince of Lai is powerful and the one who corrupts with him he gives riches and honors in this kingdom. On this table there were papers strewn about, on each of these papers there were signatures, it is possible to read these signatures, I saw big names of statesmen, even kings have their signature on this paper, we left this room and another authority came welcoming, we enter his room but in the middle of this room he knelt to pray. Unlike other rooms this room was not coated with this viscous liquid, this demon in the form of man invited me to kneel with him and pray, but the prayers that have risen from his mouth and the words he utters do not correspond to the holy prayers of the God's people, this man has before him idols of the Virgin Mary, the saints, idols of the East, this man also has in front of him a staff, that very stick which is carried by the leader of the church of the prostitute. This man prayer was addressed to foreign saints, to Mary, to Buddha, to Krishna, to other saints and other gods, this figure is the prince of false religion and idolatry, he has the appearance of a Christian, but he has nothing in him of a Christian, he looks like sons of God but he has nothing in him of a son of God, this man submits and devotes himself to demons because he himself is a demon. This demon in the image of man has come down and has already manifested himself within several temples and several assemblies, many servants were not vigilant and let these unclean spirits enter the churches, they allowed these unclean spirits to enter, this prince is powerful because he is the one who teach the false prophet, we got out into this corridor and the Lord showed me other places, but it would be too long. The day would not be enough to say what's in the middle of these prisons of fallen angels, as God has given you to see the kingdom of Canaan, he gives you a glimpse of the kingdom of Egypt tonight, you have a choice in front of you, behind every sin there is an authority, behind every failure there is an authority, nothing is done without the direction of the authority, nothing is accomplished without the direction of authority. The Lord also showed me that the old serpent is rising up to the sound and the cries of distress of his servants on this earth, the dragon gets up and he calls. He asks that we open these doors so that these rebel angels descend and penetrate the very level of this earth, this time will be fulfilled, the dragon wish will be fulfilled in a time set, the word of God is given so that you may be warned, the devil will open these doors and fallen angels will be liberated. These evil powers since generations directed and influence battalions and troops of demons, they have have been the root cause of the sins of your fathers and sins of creation from generations to generations, time is coming and is imminent where they will present themselves before you, the time you are given to live now is a time of revelation but a spiritual time, do not be surprised if tomorrow you hear that the things God has announced are fulfilled, for they will certainly be fulfilled. Do not be surprised tomorrow to hear that the fallen have come to the surface to torment humanity.
they will tell humanity to perform acts and works that are not in conformity with the word of God. These angels are not angels, and if they are, they are angels of evil, meditate, the Lord is calling you tonight to make a choice.